Dan Moskal here and in this video we're going to add Facebook comments to a website. Uh, it's really very simple easy process and we're not going to use a plugin to do this. We're working on a WordPress website for a local uh, mental health therapist um, and we're actually let me go ahead and tell you about this we're offering a live Google Plus uh, SEO training event this I know it's short notice but it's this Sunday 3 p.m. Eastern Time, October 6, 2013. Visit Dan Moskal University to sign up. And while you're here, you can also get a free email marketing strategy guide. Um, this is the site we're actually working on. Uh, she's a mental health counselor in the Columbia, South Carolina area. And this is what we're going to do to her website. We're going to add this little box here where you can add comments. So if you're signed into Facebook, you can go ahead and add comments uh, very easily and this will avoid a lot of those spam comments that you may have gotten or the I've logged into my WordPress <laughs> accounts and seen just like 10,000 spam comments uh, not a single one of them legitimate uh, so it's it's really easy we've already done it but I'm gonna go we took it off just to show so we could walk through it and show you here I'll just show you in Safari um, here the comments are not on like there isn't a comment we can't leave a comment. We went ahead and took it off uh, just so I could show you here in this video how we actually put it on. Um, the reason that changed is because we're using two different sign up forms. We're testing them, we're split testing them. Uh, and I'll, sh let's see if it'll change again. I will here again in the future. All right, so let's put these comments on. So go search in Google Facebook comments. You want to click the second one, comments, plugin, Facebook developers. And again, we're not going to add a, a plugin. We're going to manually insert this because I think this is a much better, more professional way to do it personally. And this is the screen you're going to see. Get your comments plugin code, URL to comment on, color scheme width, number of posts. So this is what we're going to do for ours. We're going to go take joliemoskal.com. This is her website. This is the URL that we want people to comment on. We are going to delete the example and we're going to replace it with her URL. Number of posts, we just leave this blank. And uh, for this one, we're going to leave the color scheme and the width both blank as well. It'll kind of automatically fit it, fit your website. And if you have any trouble with that, go in and manually insert like a 200 width or 300 width or 500 width, whatever you want to do. If you have any trouble, please leave a comment or a question below. But here's the real process. So we have to get this code and we have to get this code. You don't have to know what these codes mean. You don't have to know anything about these codes. The only thing you need to do is to be able to copy. So let's go over. We're working on joliemoskal.com. Let's go over and we're going to start with our widgets because this top code we need to first paste in, the big one. And we are going to paste it in by using a text widget into our primary sidebar. And we're going to put it all the way down at the bottom. Nothing's going to show up when we paste this in. Make sure you hit save. Now let's go ahead and just take a look at our website. And we did turn off our... Uh, our cache. Make sure you turn off your cache if you're doing these changes, otherwise you won't see them immediately. Um, nothing's showing up. You know, this looks exactly the same. Nothing's changed. There, I think that may have changed just a blank box there. We could add it underneath to get rid of those two lines, but let's just keep it up with speed for this. So we first added this one in. Now we're going to add this bottom code in. This bottom code, wherever we put this, is where comments are going to show up. And we're going to go ahead and add it using the simple hooks. We're going to add it actually two ways. We'll go ahead, just so you can see it, we're going to put it in in the very top right uh, in the header part. This is going to look pretty funny. <laughs> But let's go ahead and save it just so you can see it, and then we'll put it where we really want it. So let's just refresh. You see, comments showed up there. Like we could leave a comment up here if we wanted to. I wouldn't recommend putting your comment section up here. So we're going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to add it where we really want. You could obviously put it down in your like footers, 
or something. But what we want to do, I really like the hooks. This is using the Genesis frameworks. This website is using the Genesis frameworks, and we installed the Simple Hooks plugin. So Genesis Simple Hooks. Uh, if you're not using Genesis frameworks, you can still get the hooks plugin. The hooks plugin just really makes it allows you to add advertisements or Facebook comments or whatever you may want to add in a lot more professional integrated way and we there's a hooks guide a visual guide so you can see where you're placing it but we want to put ours after loop and you may have to play around a little bit with the hooks or you might just want to add it as a widget but either way we're gonna we just paste it in that bottom code so this first code has to be on the page and then we paste it in the bottom code the bottom code is gonna show up we paste it in where we want the comments box to show up so after the loop that's where we want it if you don't know what after the loop means don't worry I don't either the idea though is you can see it with the visual guide for the hooks or you can just add it as a widget or go into your hard base and add it that way like the hard file so we're gonna go ahead and refresh this and we're gonna scroll down and it should be at the very bottom of this page boom add a comment awesome let's check it in Safari just a different browser we were looking at it in Firefox let's just refresh this and we're logged into our Facebook Dan Moskal page so this way we could sign up for our newsletter if you're curious about this is using an Aweber I've got another video or you could just reach out to me leave a comment below I'm happy to show and explain but we can add a comment really easily from our Facebook page we could say you know great site awesome work blah 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 and then hit comment and you see it looks a lot more professional placed in I believe that's a lot to do with the simple hooks I really 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 like the simple hooks and strongly suggest you use that to place advertisements Facebook comments uh, anything you want there's also a way to put Google Plus comments in I personally like the Facebook comments slightly better I'm a bigger fan of Google Plus and I think Google has some great awesome technology including this uh, hangout where we can do a live event answer your questions and take your questions all at the same time so please come and attend this it's a live SEO training you need to visit danmoskaluniversity.com to sign up it's happening at 3 p.m. Sunday 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday October 6 2013 uh, please ask your questions before and please come and attend this it's really gonna be a good time I'm sharing and the reason the initial reason why we decided to do this and uh, I just learned this Google Plus Hangout technology just the other day I've got a business partner that I've, he's a brand newbie to this whole internet marketing online marketing world and I need to share with him and show him the fundamentals and the basics of what I do and what I've spent the past eight years of my life learning how to do uh, working full-time so please again visit Dan Moskal University come and attend our live SEO training event it's at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday October 6 2013 it's gonna be a great time and if you have any specific questions please send them over to me now send them over to me anyway any way you can during at before or after I'd like to to get it before so I can answer your questions and give you what you really want uh, we also have a few books over here at Amazon we should be at iTunes here maybe today if not in the very near future and we also are on audible.com and we have an audio version of the book that should be in iTunes it should be any day uh, so we sh <laughs> Keep an eye out and uh, have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Visit DanMoskalUniversity.com. I've also got a free email marketing strategy guide I want to give you. And please come uh, attend our training event. It really is, there's no sales pitch. It's just content. It's just teaching. I want to share what I know with you so you can, to help you share what you know, especially if you're a mental health therapist or a, a lawyer, an attorney, like you have so many other more important relevant things that you need to keep up with than how to do internet geek, super <laughs> geek, eight years of full-time work like this you know I've got my PhD in this stuff and uh, you may have a PhD in something let me help you share your PhD and the knowledge that you have so this is Dan Moskal have a great afternoon please leave a comment below please like this video please share it with your friends family colleagues and please come in and attend our live SEO train event let me help <laughs> have a great afternoon